called the retractable ver retractable retractable Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, magtatry tayo ng mga bagong makeup na affordable lang pero maganda. So if you guys want to see how I did this look and if you want to know my thoughts about each product that I put on my face today, then keep on watching. So I have a new brow pencil from Wet n Wild. This is called the Ultimate Retractable Brow Pencil, and this is in the shade Ash Brown. And nasa box pa siya, guys. Hindi ko pa siya na open. This is how the pencil looks like in angled siya and meron siyang spoolie, which is amazing. Because I really want to have a spoolie. It's the same size as here in Anastasia Brow Definer. So this is Anastasia Brow Definer. And they're the same as angled. And the difference is the spoolie. It's more than the spoolie of Anastasia. And then the Wet n Wild is a bit of a mess. Lately, yung ginagamit ko sa brows, guys, yung from Colorit. And I really, really like it. Because it stays put. As in, matagal siyang matanggal sa brows. Madali lang siyang kumulay, in fairness. Um, it has a bit of a waxy feel to it, which is a good thing actually. Pero sometimes kasi pag too waxy yung product, like pag hihilahin mo siya or parang i-fill in mo dito, tapos i-fill in mo ulit, parang matatanggal siya sa sobrang ka-waxy niya. Pero ito hindi naman. So I swatch both at the back of my hand just to feel the consistency or yung formula ng product. And medyo pare-pareho lang sila. So first impressions about this wet and wild brow pencil, sobrang okay niya talaga as in... I like it. I actually bought two primers from the drugstore because I know that there is one here in the Philippines. The first one that I bought is this NYX Hydra Touch, Hydra Touch? Hydra Touch Oil Primer. And this is how the box looks like. I didn't open it. It has a sticker, but I'm not going to open it anymore because I'm going to do it half and half. It's my favorite oil primer from Smashbox. It's the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Oil. And you guys know how much I love that primer. And if it's dope, because there are many people Sabi talaga na dupe. Oh my God, huwag niyo na yung bilhin yung Smashbox. Ito na lang. So, hintayin niyo lang guys. Gagawan ko siya ng half and half. So, ito na lang yung gagamitin ko today sa makeup ko. This is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer. Healthy Glow Pore Minimizing Effect. This has Vitamin Complex and Cranberry Water. And this is how the packaging looks like. We'll see if this is really pore minimizing because most of my glowy primers hindi sila nagmi-minimize ng pores. It's just gonna add a glow talaga. So ito dalawa yung claim niya. Nagahide ng pores daw ay magbibigay ng healthy glow. My skin actually feels really smooth and soft right now. Yung parang na prep na talaga siya bago lagyan ng foundation. Pero ito yung masasabi ko guys. Yes, I agree na nagbibigay siya ng healthy glow sa skin. Kasi nakita niyo naman guys, de ba? May healthy glow talaga. And I like the texture kasi parang moisture moisturizer lang yung nilagay ko sa skin ko. Ang problema lang, hindi talaga niya hide yung pores. Like, I can still see my pores here screaming. As in, malalaki pa talaga sila dito. So, hindi siya pore minimizing. Yes, healthy glow but not pore minimizing. Since I don't have a new foundation to try, I'm just gonna do my base off camera and I will be right back. Before I proceed and do the rest of my face makeup, gusto ko munang gawin yung eye makeup ko kasi bumili ako ng bagong palette from Colourpop. This is called the Give It To Me Straight Shadow Palette from Colourpop. And hindi ko pa to nagamit guys, so this is going to be my first time to try it on camera. And this is how it looks like. And then when you open it, it doesn't come with a mirror. And um, ganito yung colors niya: copper, mauve, cranberries. Tapos it has mm, seven mattes and then two, four, five, five metallic shades. I'm gonna take this shade first. It's called Truth Hurts. Yes. I'm really sorry guys ha, I know nag-promise ako sa inyo ng dedicated video talking about Colourpop palettes and now I can talk about it kasi na-try ko na tong isang palette na to kasi ito lang naman yung pinaka-last kong nabili from Colourpop so I'm gonna do that very very soon I'm gonna swatch lang two colors or not three colors for you ganyan yung mga metallic shades they're very 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 pigmented I'm gonna take this shade right here it's called Frank it's a bit powdery so tap off your brush before you put it sa lid. So I'm just gonna concentrate it here. And I'll drag it here then. So whatever's left in the brush, I'll drag ko ng konti dito pa loob. And then I'll do the same thing on the left eye. I'm gonna take this TMI shade. And then just taking this fluffy brush and then blend the harsh edges. 
to deepen up my crease more or yung outer V, lalagyan ko lang nito. Um, yung shade name niya is actually. I have a supernova shadow here, guys, na hindi ko pa nagamit talaga. This is called Firecracker. So I'm gonna put this all over my lid. And tingnan natin kung anong mangyayari. Let's hope for the best. In fairness, I really like the supernova eyeshadow ng ColourPop. Ang problema lang guys, madali silang mag-dry up so you have to be quick. Hi guys, I'm back and naglagay lang ako ng falsies off camera because I can never do that on camera kasi na out of focus, oh, focus wow. Na out of focus ako parate. So, gagawin ko muna yung lower lash line ko. I'm gonna use this shade first, yung third 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 hurts, truth hurts. I'm gonna take this dark brown shade as well, and then ilalagay ko din dito. Now taking this color, um, yung name niya up front. Ooh, I like it so much. And then kuha din ako ng konte lang guys, and super duper konte ilagay ko dito to highlight my brow bone. I'm just gonna go ahead and do my bronzer and blush and then I'm gonna speed through this process kasi nakikita niyo naman parate on how I do my bronzer and blush and wala akong bagong bronzer and blush. So for bronzer, I'm just gonna use this one. This is the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Bronze. Medyo makul tone talaga tong bronzer na to. So I just wanna add a little warmth sa skin ko. I'm gonna use this one from Essence. This is called the Essence Sun Club Matte Bronzing Powder. Okay, for blush, guys, I'm just gonna use this one. Atagal ko na hindi to nagamit. This is from MAC and this is called Fleur Power. And gusto ko na medyo pink kasi. For my highlight today, I'm super excited to try this one out. This is also from ColourPop. It's called the In Nude In Nudendo In Nudendo palette. This is how it looks like. When you open it, ganyan siya. Anim yung highlighter na mukha niyo. I'm gonna give you a swatch. This feels really creamy, buttery, and soft. And ganyan siya. And I really like the texture of this one compared dun sa first na nilabas na highlighter na ganito. Sobrang chalky yun. And hindi ko talaga siya nagagamit. As in, I did not like that highlighter palette. Yung first palette na nilabas nila, it's called Give Me More. And this is how the packaging looks like. If you're planning to get this, and if you already have textures of face mold, please skip this palette. It's really it's just gonna emphasize all the textures that you have in your skin. And as you can tell, guys, the texture palang, I mean, sa pan palang, wala mong kita niya talaga na mas iba talaga. Eto mas smooth siya. So pag feel ko talaga pag swatch ko, magkaiba silang dalawa. So this one, I would not suggest or recommend you to get. Get this one in in Nudendo. So for my highlighter today, I'm gonna use this and this. Me mix ko lang yung dalawa. Oh wow, this is really better, like way, way better. I'm gonna change my brush. I'm just gonna use this fan brush from Morphe. It's called M310. So I bought this liquid lipstick from Essence. It's called the Essence Matte 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 Long Lasting Lip Gloss. Oh my gosh, hindi ko na pansin. Lip gloss pala to. Long lasting creamy lip gloss for velvet matte lips. Huh? Hindi ko gets. Velvet matte lips, pero lip gloss siya. Hmm. Um, ito try na lang natin. Kasi nalito din ako sa velvet matte and lip gloss. So this is... It smells good. It smells like the NYX na soft matte lip cream. Hmm, pareho yung amoy nila. Um, hindi siya glossy. Yes, it has like a velvety feel to it, but it's not matte. And nagta transfer siya. Mm, I don't like it. Kasi nagpapachi siya talaga as in nakaganun ganun siya sa lips ko, naka stripe siya. So I'm just gonna replace this one. Kasi ayoko talaga siya. I don't know if my lips are just really dry. Pero 
Mm, patchy siya. If you guys are wondering what's on my lips, this is the M Cosmetics in the shade Rose Nude. Last product that try natin today is this Catrice Cosmetics Long Lasting Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. It prepares the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes your complexion. Preps the skin, so that means po din tong gamitin as primer or para ho siya dun sa Smashbox Primer Water. Na you spray it before you put your makeup on. So okay siya in fairness, maliit nga lang siya. So I cannot wait to use this one and keep eyes and mouth closed. See me. Uy, ah, basang basang na ako bes. <laughs> Maganda naman siya guys, pero yun lang talaga yung problema yung sprayer niya sobrang lakas. As in parang inuulan yung mukha ko. <laughs> I'm done with my makeup and I'm gonna give you a quick rundown sa lahat ng mga ginamit ko sa mukha ko today. I'm gonna start with this Wet n Wild Retractable Brow Pencil and I really like it. As in, sobrang gustong gusto ko siya kasi it's very inexpensive. It's from the drugstore. It's from Wet n Wild. And feeling ko talaga dinudupe niya yung Anastasia na brow pencil na pinakita ko sa inyo kanina. Hindi ako nahirapan na ilagay siya sa brows ko and hindi siya napapatchy and all that. So maganda to. Ngayon ko lang na-realize guys na konti lang pala yung makeup na finiture ko today. But anyway, I'm gonna go straight to these two palettes from ColourPop. Yes, the Give It To Me Straight palette. I really, really like this one. If you're a beginner or kahit hindi ka beginner, and if you're looking for a nice palette, wow, my goodness. If you're looking for a nice palette na magagamit mo every single color, I can highly, highly recommend this. It blends perfectly on the lid. Walang nagpapatchy. And medyo powdery, yes, pero wala namang fallout kanina. So maganda talaga tong palette na to. And of course, this Innudendo palette. As in, sobrang gustong gusto ko yung pigmentation niya, yung pagka creamy niya, and yung texture niya ngayon compared to the other palette na na-release nila before. I really like this. As in, tingnan nyo guys, parang hindi siya nakapatong sa skin or chalky tingnan. Um, it just sinks into your skin na parang wet siya tingnan. And yeah, I can highly, highly recommend this one. This lip gloss, velvet, matte, hindi ko alam talaga kung ano yung gusto nila sa lipstick na to. But yeah, I don't like this. I cannot recommend it kasi sobrang patchy niya sa lips. As what I said earlier guys, hindi na to bago sa akin. Pero first time ko siyang gamitan today, yung Supernova Shadow in Shade Firecracker. Yung bronzy na color na gamit ko na before and nagamit ko siya buong araw. Hindi naman siya nag-transfer sa lid. And this is really really nice guys. Ha? For the price, sobrang okay na talaga nito. And then lastly, for this Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Multi-Talent Fixing Setting Spray, I really like it kasi hindi siya mabahong alcohol. Um, it has a pleasant scent. Ang problema lang talaga yung mist niya kasi sobrang lalaki ng chunks of water na lumalabas. Pero naset naman niya ng maayos yung makeup ko, in fairness. Pero kung tatanungin niyo ako kung ano yung mas gusto ko, ito bang Catrice or yung sa Milani Make It Last Setting Spray, I will tell you to get the Milani one kasi mas fine yung um, spray niya compared to this one. Munti ko na makalimutan to guys. This is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Primer and I really like it as in it has given me a healthy finish or healthy glow sa skin ko without looking glittery or looking like a disco ball. Maganda siya yung texture niya para lang moisturizer pero glowy siya sa skin pero it's not gonna hide your pores and fine lines so do not buy this primer for that buy this primer for that healthy glow yun lang so if you have a lot of pores or malalaki yung pores niyo you need another primer to cover those or to blur out your pores pero ito nagbibigay lang talaga ng healthy glow so if you have dry or normal skin you will like this primer so that is it for this video guys I hope nag enjoy kayo kung meron kayo mga comments and suggestions please do not forget to write it in the comments section below kasi parati ko naman kayong kinakausap doon. Please do not forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And may your brow game be as strong as your coffee today. Love you! Bye! Don't make me too